Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be discussing density and population density. So density is basically just an application of volume um, and both density and population density are two concepts that are part of our everyday world. So first let's talk a little bit about what density is. So density measures how compact an item is. Okay, so if you think about um, something that's a 3D shape, let's say a can of soup, how compact the contents are inside. The formula is density equals mass over volume. Unit, since it's mass over volume, might be something like grams, then there's a slash centimeters cubed. So it's a mass unit over a volume unit. And the way that we say that in words would be grams per centimeters cubed. So that slash basically is read as per. Now let's talk about population density, a little bit different here. So it measures how compact an area or location is. The formula is population density is equal to population divided by area. And to make sense of population density, let's talk about an example that has high population density versus low. New York City has a very high population density. That's because there is a lot of people in New York City, but there is not a lot of space. The actual like square footage or square mileage of the city is not large, but we fit all of these people in New York City because we build skyscrapers and we go upward. So since there's a lot of people and not a lot of space, that's high population density. Whereas if we think about rural farmland, one family might have acres of land to themselves. There's not a lot of people but they have a lot of space. So that's an example of low population density. All right, let's look at some sample questions where we'll work with density and population density. Number one, the volume of a rectangular prism is 108 centimeters cubed and it weighs 42 grams. What is the density of the rectangular prism to the nearest tenth? And we're gonna include units in our answer. So I know this is density, not population density. Clearly it says density, but also because of volume. So our formula is density is mass over volume. I'm gonna abbreviate those values here. We're looking for the density, so I'm just gonna leave the D for density there. The mass is 42, and the volume is 108. We're looking for this to the nearest tenth, so all I have to do is just divide these two values, and to the nearest tenth, I got 0 0.4. But we have to think about what our units are. So the formula was mass over volume. The mass unit is grams. The volume unit is centimeters cubed. So our density is 0 0.4 grams per centimeters cubed. Number two, a cylindrical candle has a mass of 200 grams. The candle has a diameter of three inches and a height of four inches. What is the density of the candle to the nearest hundredth of a gram? Well, if I go and write my formula again, and I'm looking for the density. I notice I have the mass, but I get a little stuck when I go and find the volume here. I realize that I don't know what it is. So we have to calculate the volume, and the volume of a cylinder, the formula is pi r squared h. Well, the radius is 1.5 in this example, right? If the diameter is 3, radius is 1.5, and the height is 4. So sometimes we're going to have to do this extra step compared to number one, where you have to actually calculate the volume in order to help you find the density. All right, so let's put this in the calculator here. So 200 over our denominator. If you wanted to find the density separately and then plug that number into uh, V for volume, that's fine. All right, we're looking to the nearest hundredth, so that's two decimal places. So I have 7.07, .07, and then our units are grams per cubic inch in this case. Number three, there are 987 deer living in a wooded area that is 316 square kilometers in size. What is the population density of deer per square kilometer rounded to the nearest hundredth? So clearly population density, the formula is the population over the area. So I just have some substitution to do. The population is how many of whatever we're talking about are present. So in this case, how many deer? So 987. The area is 316. And I'm going to just type this into my calculator and round to the nearest hundredth. 
So I got that the population density is 3.12. And let's think about what our units are going to be. It actually even tells us in the problem. So it's going to be deer per square kilometer. Number four, a storage box in the shape of a rectangular prism has a length of three feet, width of 1.5 feet, and a height of two. If the box is filled with contents that weigh 0 0.3 pounds per cubic foot, what is the weight in pounds of the contents of the storage box? A common mistake I see on questions like this is that we think that the 0 0.3 is the mass. The reason people might think that is because we see the word weigh right next to it. But if we keep reading... The unit is pounds per cubic foot. So this is really our density here because we can tell that based upon the unit. Other reason I can tell it's not the weight or the mass is because the question actually asks us for it in the end. It says, what is the weight? So just be mindful of that. All right, so if I take my um, density formula, density is mass over volume. The density is 0.3. The mass is what we're trying to find. Um, and we don't know the volume here. So the volume is um, going to be whatever the volume of this prism is. So we could use length times width times height or area of the base times height, whatever you want to use, you're going to get the same answer. So three times 1.5 times two. Now you could solve it this way. I'm going to just simplify that um, denominator first, just to show a little bit clearer here what we're doing. So I have 0 0.3 is equal to the mass over 9. Anytime I have a question where there's um, one fraction on one side and not a fraction on the other, I like to make them both fractions, and then I can solve by cross-multiplying. So m times 1 is m, 0.3 times 9 is 2.7, and now I have gotten m by itself, and I have found the mass of this storage box. We're looking for the weight here. Our unit in this case is pounds. All right, for our last sample problem, number five, the table below shows four uh, fictional cities and their populations, areas, and population densities. Fill in all missing spaces in the table. Population is rounded to the nearest whole number, while area and population density are rounded to the nearest tenth. Okay, so we're gonna have a little bit of manipulating to do in this one. I'm gonna actually do um, the chart a little bit out of order. So I notice Ashton and Denville both give me the population and the area. So if I wanna find the population density, I'm going to basically um, divide the population, so 16601, by the area and it says we're rounding to the nearest tenth so I got 293.8. Denville is going to have us do a very similar calculation divide the population by the area round to the nearest tenth so 246.9. Those I think are a little bit more straightforward because the formula for population density is population over area, so I was able to just very quickly divide them. For Barringtown and City Park, I'm just going to show a little bit more work here. So for Barringtown, I'm going to do this off to the side. Remember our formula is population density is population over area. So we know that the population density is 222.1. We know the population is 14,228, and we don't know the area, so I'm just going to put X. I'm going to zoom in on this here. As I mentioned earlier, if you have a fraction on one side and not the other, let's make them both fractions, and let's cross-multiply. So I get 14,228 is equal to 222.1 times X. Divide both sides by 222.1 and that will give us our area. All right, so we are looking for area uh, rounded to the nearest tenth. So I got 64.1 as the area of Barringtown. 
All right, I have one more calculation to do, and that is for City Park. Okay, so for City Park, we are not given the population. We are just given the density and the area. So the density is 421.7. The population, I don't know, so I'm going to put X there over 41.8, and I will zoom back in here. Put the, both, put the other side over one, cross multiply, you'll see X is already isolated here. So 421.7 times 41.8 gives us 17,627.06. Um, it tells us here that population is rounded to the nearest whole number. So my population in this case is going to be 17,627. And now we have completed the table for the four fictional cities. Hopefully this video helps you understand how to work with density and population density.